guys, what is growing on? So Jim is back from Maine and we're here for a little bit of a sweet potato roundup. And by roundup, I don't mean spraying roundup. I mean, we're rounding up all these sweet potatoes. We're getting all these vines up, bringing everything around back to compost and show you what's coming up and what's going down here this morning. So we've got a little war party out here. Jim, I don't hear music out here or see this many people that often. What's hey, going on here this morning? It's a sweet potato roundup. Now what, what are you spraying? Roundup? Nope, nope, nope. We're rounding up the taters. All right. No. Yeah, I mean, I just said, offered people to come and they're coming. What are you doing with all these vines? You know, that's going to be the first question. You know, they're going out where the city will compost them. So um, it's, it's a great system. So they'll actually come back in, you know, six months has finished compost and I can put it back on the garden. Take too long to break down. They not only don't break down, they start to grow. But you know, they put them in the big pile and they grind them and you know, that just takes care of it. So just guessing off your head, what kind of yield do you expect this year? It's looking a little better, probably 3,000 pounds, maybe four. 3,000 pounds of taters. The How much uh, love did you give those while you were gone? None. Well, I did have that water going, but it seems like the water didn't help. It actually hurt. So the best, you know, that red one with the white flesh is the one that's cleanest right now that I'm seeing. It's really all about variety. Yeah, I think so. I want to try that one Josh has. All right. so. I've never seen this many people working here. Is it getting, well, getting there's gonna be a, or what? There's going to be a lot more coming, I more think. More coming? Really? Yeah, there's somebody coming from way down south somewhere. Um, Adam's from Lakeland. Apollo's from around here. I'm not sure where Catlin's from. Um, yeah, it's cool. They get to kind of hang out with each other and we'll see what happens. Good. Yeah. And handle in that stuff. It's like giant things of spaghetti, huh? That's what John just said. <laughs> oh, that's what Johnny Boy said. I said I was trading spaghetti on John, dude, I don't think they've met you yet, man. You like Daniel son? Daniel son. Oh. Trying to be a little wax on all that. Oh. oh. So it doesn't look like a lot of potatoes are coming up. We're getting all the vines first and then going taters? Well, I'm like, I want to go through myself and pick and sort. So okay. if we can get the vines out here, I'll be really happy. All right. That opens the door for me. All right, got a little bit of a war party out here. When you get 15 people pulling up vines like this, things happen kind of quick. Literally 35 minutes later, 60% of the yard's been pulled off of there, so things are happening fast over here. I just want to point out, yes, we all know sweet potato leaves are edible. Um, they're towards the end of their life, they're towards the end of the season, there's pests on them. Um, we're very, very, very familiar with that. Um, but that's more of kind of an early season thing for picking the leaves. We don't have a market to sell these leaves. They're all getting composted. They're all getting turned back into soil. Just had to let everybody know, we do know the leaves are edible. We, we've heard that about 10 times now, John. Always do, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> you know, right now, this time of the year, would you want to eat that? No, I've been seeing even a lot of white. A lot of white yeah, flies, a lot of white fly, yeah. here. You know, the new growth is still probably all right, but... You know, it's just not worth it for me. No, if someone wants to come and buy it, I told them they're more than welcome to show up next they year. <laughs> they are. They would gladly sell it to you. Yeah. Yep, there we go. On the right. Hey, bud, look, you're gonna... Let's see. Oh, you got it. On? You got it. <laughs> Doing a good job, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Wait. My help. That's a little heavy. What do you mean it's heavy? It's a little heavy. That little guy right there. We're soft. We're the <laughs> Whoa. You guys are getting spoiled with all those machines, huh? Yeah. Oh. Whoa, just like that. Most of the front yard's pulled up. All right, so we're actually not getting up all the potatoes today. We're mostly getting the vines up. Jim's gonna do the potatoes and separate them on his own. So might have to come back for another video and actually get kind of a harvest number for you, see what all he got out of this. 
it's getting the, on. What is growing on, yeah, man? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Y'all out here pounding some dirt, huh? You know it. All right. Oh, couple of road taters. So, if you guys notice, I don't see a single weed in here. Um, you know, I see dark soil, I see mulch, and I see potatoes. So, weed penetration was fairly minimal. I noticed up there where the edge encroaches, he had a little penetration, but for the most part, that cover crop of sweet potatoes did its job. It covered the soil, it protected the soil. While we were in our hot summers here in Florida, while Jim was up in Maine, also gave him a crop to harvest when he comes back. I mean, 3,000 pounds of sweet potatoes, that's like 4,500 bucks at market. So, I mean, does it make sense to you? It makes sense to me. So I think the black beans made a big difference in there. I think the cow pea made a big difference. I think Jim did some peanut out here along the front. I didn't see any peanuts come up, but for the most part, this is looking pretty awesome. Here's that purple one again. And this one seems to do the best here. Really pretty potato too, doesn't crack a lot. And it has that beautiful flesh on the inside. Oh, and just like that, all the vines are up. And we're about wrapped up here. Jim's got a lot of potatoes to harvest, but we're gonna get a little group photo and get out of here. I'm gonna go around back and show you guys the pile, see what we pulled out of here. So hold tight. Hey, you guys are doing a good job. I see everybody else is kind of standing around listening to Jim, but you guys must be the only two that are actually getting paid to be here, huh? We're getting paid? What? Oh, well, you working for free? I was. <laughs> Get out of here. I thought I was just getting the driver bonus today. Oh, the driver bonus. Oh, good job, Daniel son. <laughs> All right. Does this count as that? Got taters. Action? We do have one little patch over here that had some weeds in it. Um, Jim wanted to leave that alone. He didn't want to pull the weed, you know, the, the vines out of there, expose the weeds. He wants to work on that slowly and get all of those roots up. I do see, I see a tiny little bit of torpedo or not really, so. But yes, there's definitely some grass in this area, so he's gonna work with the fork, get all the roots, get that out of there properly, not just rip the vines out of it, so. Guys, so there's the Sweet Potato Mountain. These are gonna be going to the city to get composted, and they're going to the city to get composted because they have a much larger facility, much bigger space to compost these. They take a really long time to break down. Um, and it just makes more sense. Jim doesn't have a big compost area, doesn't have a huge yard. Um, like I said, this acts as a cover crop and we know they're edible. And with that being said, it's really no secret where Jim's house is anymore. Um, made many videos here, many drone videos here. Everybody kind of knows where he's located. So free sweet potato leaves if you want them. I'm sure they'll be here for a week or two. Um, and we are right behind the police station, so. All right, so I need to go. We've got another job after this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do so. Most importantly, hit that bell to stay notified and get out there, start a garden, and pound some dirt.